called True, False, and Why. So I have four questions here. We're going to do this again tomorrow if you're coming back. I'll be here. I'm proud of you. Um, you, you scared me after last week. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is I'm, we're going to ask questions, and we're going to give a, a true or false answer and also a brief why as we wrap it up here for you. The Buccaneers should be a top five Super Bowl contender with Tom Brady back. True or false and why? Uh, true. Mm. They're in the easiest division. I'm a little out of NFL. I haven't really been paying a lot of attention. This is off the top of my head stuff. But they're in the weakest division. Uh, Tom Brady will continue to thrive in offense after he's seen it multiple years. Uh, they have the best quarterback. They have the best weapons. They have the best defense in that division. So they're easily going to win the division. Once they get to the playoffs, it's a little bit of a crapshoot. But, uh, I mean, I'll take Tom Terrific over most, most people in the playoffs, at least for a game or two. So, uh, the Rams, I think, are so great. I think Packers fall back a little bit. I think the Bucks are second or third choice to win the NFC. I'm going to go false because the NFL got better. I feel like I do like your points about Tom Brady in a, in a system, the same system. He, who loves a study geek and in a system where he keeps on getting better at it, obviously. But I think the NFL around him has gotten so much more competitive. It's a lot of stars on one on like certain teams, so that's why I think they're like the fifth or sixth. I don't know if I can go guarantee top five. Well, who in the NFC is better? So to get them to the Super Bowl, they have to win the M NFC. I think you could say the Rams. I don't know if the Packers are better than them anymore. They had the same record last year and lost Devontae Adams. Who, who in the NFC is better than them besides the Rams? Eagles, I mean, I'm not, saying, I'm not going to say the Eagles. I'm just saying, I'm just saying the Eagles have a chance, but we don't know yet. That's just all speculation. Uh, that's why. That's why I struggle with this, right? All the good teams are in the AFC. The AFC West has probably got the three of the four best teams, but no, I'm saying that's why there might be five good teams in the AFC, and, then, and I, I win the question. So there you go. Yeah, but they can only face one of them. <laughs> I know. Yeah, they got they got to face one tough team in the NFC and one tough team in the AFC, so that would put them. Third or fourth, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. True, false, why? The Chiefs will not win the AFC West. Uh, I'm going to say false. You know, I know everybody's loving the Chargers. I know that, you know, they, they're the only team that hasn't had an arrest in the last five years. And so, they're you know, people love them for that reason, too. And, God, I just, I just get the feeling that Mahomes is better and that that team is better. They have the best coaching staff. They, they retool well. And this is an opportunity for Mahomes to prove himself without Tyreek Hill with a bunch of younger guys, younger players, and be a different type of playmaker. I, I do think San Diego will, or L.A. will eventually take <laughs> over that division. Uh, I just don't know if it will be this year. I think Kansas City is still probably the best team in that division, top to bottom on their roster. Sammy, I 100% agree. My thing here was Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes have been doing this longer they have shown us last year they could just literally flip a switch and turn it on in at midseason. I even when their defense was struggling, and so I got I agree with you. I think the key here is Mahomes and Andy Reid. Yeah, I mean and Travis Kelsey, right? They still have the best hookup. Right, I mean, pass he's the best receiver in the last six years. Right. Um, you know, I, I think you're going to see them re re. Retool their offense a little bit. I think they're going to focus more on the running game. I think they're going to focus on more better. Defense. I don't think you're going to see the crazy points. You know, it used to be they were in the red zone as soon as they crossed midfield. I don't think you're going to see that anymore. Uh, but I do think they have the tools to win to win games. And you know, the Chargers, while good, didn't make the playoffs last year, and the Raiders barely you know squeaked in. That whole division is really tough, and the Chiefs have a tough schedule, but. They're still, they're still the cream of the crop, man. I, until until otherwise, I think they're still the champs of that division. Even the Broncos with Russell Wilson, they don't scare me. You know, the, the Broncos made a great trade. They you know they gave up all that capital to get Russell Wilson so they can finish last in that division. It was a fantastic <laughs> idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fair enough. I'm true false and why. Baker Mayfield is traded and starts at least one game next year. Uh, I'm going to say... Well, it's a, it's a hybrid. I think he does get traded. I don't mm. think he starts a game next year. Mm. Um, I think the later it goes, the harder it is for a team to implement him into their into their roster. Now, you're saying all year, and so he has multiple months to learn playbooks and all, and all that stuff. But 
any place he goes, he's going to be the backup. Then nobody's trading for him to be a starter at this point. And so the only way I think he starts a game is if a guy gets hurt. It's clearly possible, uh, but it's also clearly not possible. So I do think he gets traded, but I, I, I'm going to say that he does not start a game next year. I think he does the Mitch Trubisky role where he just sits in the back of a, a good quarterback and learns to shut the heck up. And, and suddenly looks good again. Yeah, and then all of a sudden somebody will like want to trade for him because of the potential and, and you know, a year behind Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes or whoever he gets traded to, you know. Don't tell me that now. That'd be a good idea, right? But that's the thing. if he gets traded to Kansas City for you know for pennies on the dollar, I don't think he starts a game, and I think he becomes a huge prospect for the following year. So I think there's a lot of potential for him to still get paid and still be a starter in the league. I don't know that it's going to be next year at all. I 1,000 percent agree with that point. And finally, true false why Aaron Donald playing for eight years is concerning. For NFL players, for, for, for stars and potential moving forward. This guy literally said, I was planning for playing for eight years no matter what happened. Wow. Yeah, it is It is a little concerning. I mean, these guys make more money now than ever before. And so their careers are being shortened a little bit by the fact they don't need to work quite as long. Also, injuries being such a major concern in the NFL. Um I, I wish I would have known that this question was coming. I would have worn my Aaron Donald jersey today. Uh, oh. I hope he gets signed again. I hope he plays. He is an absolute beast and one of the best defenders I've ever seen. You know, this is coming from a guy who saw Warren Sapp play that same position. Uh, and so I hope he continues to play. I hope he plays a long career. Uh, but much respect for him, regardless of what he does. One of the greatest of all time, for sure. He's playing next year, but he said he'd be at peace if he doesn't get a new deal. Oh. Yeah, and if this is his swan song, I will enjoy watching him uh, oh, yeah. probably get back to the Super Bowl. I mean, the Rams are good. <laughs> the Rams are really good. Well, hey, when I come back, I'm going to talk about that point. Sammy's got to go, so with that, I'll give you a, an audio, Sammy Samigos. I He'll appreciate it. We'll tomorrow. see tomorrow. That's right. We'll play another game of NFL True False Why. Yeah. And yeah, so thank you so much, Sammy, for joining the show. For hey, I like that segment, man. I know it was coming, but I like it, and I'm uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. Have a great Read night. Read the man. emails. <laughs> Bye. Bye.